Hello friends, it's Sonia here and today we'll be altering this cute little MDF box. So to start with, I've already colored my box from outer side as I'm going to work much on the outer surface with white acrylic paint. And now I'm going to cut this beautiful pattern paper for my lid. While cutting, I realized I didn't have my uh, cutting mat or uh, on my table so now I'm cutting it with scissor to avoid any scratches on my table so once my paper has cut now I'm going to use Mod Podge and stick it on the top of the lid Once my paper has dried out completely, now I am using my nail filer which is one of my common tools which I use uh, to finish off my edges or to give the distress or, or the torn out look to my pages. Now I am using this beautiful pattern, background stamp uh, and using the similar shade of my flowers, the ink pad and I'm just using my stamp on the sides of my box I just want to keep the sides very light very or brightful so I'm just doing the stamping with the pink shade on the sides now I have my set of embellishments which I've already selected and thought of how I'm going to work on it and I'm going to start sticking these I have chipboards uh, jute string paper flowers paper leaves and I'm going to assemble them and stick it with my adhesive just using few drops of my adhesive to stick this cause this adhesive really works for me for my projects it lasts really long and I'm not spreading it with the brushes or anything I'm just using the drops or the bottle directly to add adhesive to my flowers and stick it directly wherever I want it Once my sticking work is done, I am using the same stamp set to fill up the empty spaces at the corners. And finally, it's the glitter time. I am using glitters with my adhesive and I am going to just put it randomly here and there to give a little drama and some shimmery effect to it. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.